Yeah, I lost my. Hopefully, I can hear me all right. Cause I lost. I was blaming on me. I lost my headphones, my Bluetooth. You feel me? It's hot, man. It's hot. Like what else, man? It's California, man. This shit is retarded out here. You feel me? The weather is just. <laughs> it's not New York weather. I tell you that. In New York, winter is winter. You can't slack, nigga. You gotta bring that coat. <laughs> Cali, man, you better. How you gotta do this? You gotta put your your finger on your tongue and then just put it out in the air and see whether the cold hair or breeze hit you. Then that's the weather, cause this shit is bipolar out here, man. I'm telling you, like shit, crazy, man. You see how the. <laughs> It seems like it's always sunny. Don't let that shit fool you, man. Man, it's, it doesn't rain in Southern California. My ass, man. That shit be bugging now. There's a lot of things that goes on. It feels like Mars out here. They got to be having windstorm. Be like, yo, what's the what's going on out here? Some freaky shit be going on out here. The Native Americans be cursing us. He like, get off my lion, Negroes. It's all good, man. You know, it's another day out of work. A little later than usual, but still early. <laughs> I said a little later than usual, but still early. I didn't even know late and early can be in the same sentence, but yeah, I did it. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just walking, talking. Nothing. Ain't no vintage. This is not a vintage conversation. This is just a regular conversation. Just regular, regular conversation. Said, I'm not a regular person. Yeah, today, today was today, man. What can I say? I was, I was fortunate enough to be working. They kept on trying to move me, feel me? Half the day, another half the day. You know how that shit go, but I was fortunate enough to have to my last few hours not me, working, not being bothered or anything else like that in any form of shape. Feel me? Finally had a, an organic view in front of me. Not me. When you got the organic view, you know nothing can beat it. You dig? So I was happy to get that. No joke. Feel me? Word up. It's word. Anyway, I already know what time it is with me. Yeah, this morning, this afternoon, I was talking about the baby, the BMD baby mama drama. Feel me? I'm over there. <laughs> that was, I'm just happy to be out of work, you feel me? One day gone, another day coming up. Today's whoa. Whoa, 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 hold up. Already? Don't tell me it. Damn, time flies. It's when, it's, tomorrow is Thursday. That's crazy. Tomorrow is Thursday already. Yeah, what time is it right now? It's almost five. I'm supposed to get out of five, so I got out like 20 minutes early. Just to avoid <laughs> traffic. You know how that shit go, baby. That train is not a joke, bro. Stop playing. Something. There's always something in these dry glasses. Something. Anyway, what can we talk about? Talk to, talk to me, man. Any suggestions? Electricity? Oh, Lord. It's peaceful. Why is this nigga? Zoom. I be having people comment on my videos but they don't really be right 
One guy wrote some of the world. He wrote something. I'm like, what? What? I couldn't even read what he said. He must have been rushing it and to send it through. The words and the sentence just didn't sound right. I try to read it in so many ways, but every time somebody leave me a comment, I like it because I'm like, oh, not I like it like as somebody left me a comment. You know, you press the like button like that just to check it because you get the notification saying somebody left through a message. Some people redirect me to some sauce and videos. It be some other porn shit. Niggas be coming. I'm like, that's crazy. But I, I, it's all good. I be like, all right, cool. I didn't put it on there for that kind of purpose. But the reason why I record on this is I've been doing this for a long time. And usually my recordings, you feel me? I'm going to stop doing this kind of recording, though. I'm going to go. I seen that my iPhone has a, a podcast. So I'm going to start doing that more. Feel me? Put my radio voice on. Instead of doing the YouTube. I probably just, you know, put the, you could do audio on YouTube, too. So I might have to just do it for both. I just do it on the broadcast. Because I hate recording this. And not having to listen to it again, you feel me? It's not fair. So that's what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start doing the broadcast shit on my phone. Just to live a recording of my daily activities. I do this shit almost every day. So the past the past six years, I have lost it. Cause I haven't really when I I, I always switch phones as you can see. This son. Uh, it's just switching phones, switching phones. So it's like I want to attach it to an email because I still have the same email since then. So if I can attach it, if I can attach the video to a cloud that's a lot of space, then I don't have to lose all that video and that recording. So that's the reason why I even came on YouTube in the first place. But I didn't, because I didn't think my shit was, you don't see no subscribers on it, but I don't know how they can get to the video if there's no subscribers on it. Plus, I stopped putting the hashtag shit so it doesn't reach people like that. But I guess the topic. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. It is what it is. You know what I mean? It's not that like people wasn't hearing it anyway, but I didn't think that they'll be. I don't want to have to, you know, because you know how they be hating on people when they comment on stuff. I don't want them to get in trouble for commenting on stuff. I know these niggas is grown ass men, but they're savages out there. You know what I mean? You don't want to intrigue them, especially if the topic doesn't go well. It doesn't sit well with somebody. And that person will take it as if you're going against them. That's why I always leave it as such. Like, don't even just leave it alone. Let it just be a recording and that's that. You feel me? Anyway, man, it's been a long day. Of course, I don't eat when I go to work. When I'm coming to work, I eat some bread make some tea or some oatmeal at home. But during, when, during work all the way to the ending of it, I don't eat nothing until I get back home. And I've been doing that for a long, long time too. Feel me? I say 10 years I've been doing that. I usually don't eat in between unless I'm at home. When I'm at home, it's a different story. That's when I do all the bad shit. <laughs> That's what nigga be smoking and all that shit. Because I have so much time on my hand, nigga. If I ain't got no time on my hand, then I'm literally starving myself. Almost passing out and shit. But in the beginning, it was really bad. But now my body got used to it because you got to train your body. Your body expects something. And that's what it will require at the time that it's expected of it. Because you're training it. So if you eat at 7 o'clock every day, then guess what? At 7 p.m., if you eat at 7 p.m. every day, guess what? At 7 p.m., that's what your body's going to want. It's going to send you a signal. Like, like, nigga, you ain't feed me today. Like, that's what I'm expecting. You feel me? But if you some eat, it's all good. Let it be. But if you some eat regular ass, nigga, that you just eat sporadically, then that's what your body's going to be used to. You know, some chaos shit. It's nothing that's organized, you feel me? You just eat when you're hungry type shit. But I, the way I do it, I do it. If I have it in the morning, I'm not, I don't even sweat the morning like that. You feel me? If I have the food in the morning and I have like little bread and whatever I have in the crib, 
I just, you know what I mean? I just eat whatever, some bread bun, just to hold me. Bread always holds your stomach together because they absorb a lot. So that's why I like bread a lot. So I just take the bread in, bomb, I'm good. Now I'm out, you feel me? I'm out the door, I should be good. If you, if you have, if you if you drink a lot of alcohol and shit like that, just eat a lot of bread. Hey, hey, just put, take a bottle, just, not to take a bottle, take um a cup, pour, let him pass, let him pass. Take a cup, right? Pour water in it, right? And put bread in there and see how much the bread has absorbed that shit. That's the same thing in your stomach when it goes down. So if you want any kind of toxic and you feel like I feel tired and just eat some bread, man. It would attach itself to whatever it needs to attach itself to. You might be constipating, so you might drink some water and all that shit comes out easily. So bread is always good for you. That's why the Bible always spoke about bread and bread, bread. Because bread always does the job. And that's why most niggas call their money bread. Because that do the job too, you feel <laughs> That ain't, that ain't never, so bread ain't never fill. Yo, you got my bread? I remember first time when I came to this country, they talked to you got my bread. I'm like, yo, this nigga's like bread just like I do. It's like, yeah, we all like bread. I'm like, yeah, I like the African bread. Oh, African bread. <laughs> I'm making that story. I don't think it went like that. I don't even think I took it that far. I said African bread, nah. But the first time I heard the concept of bread, you know, I had to keep it down low, like, act like I knew what was going on. You feel like I had to act like I was down. I'm like, then when everybody left to ask my man, bread, like, oh, come on, bread. Now nah, they call it money bread. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, why? Like, just it is. That's what they call it. American money, they call it bread. Or any kind of money, they call it bread. Yeah. You feel me? The scripture to it, I guess. We do things that sometimes we don't even know why we do it. But we still do it. Like, you feel I me? Mean? It's like the OGs have already laid it down to us. So, it's like we follow these things without even knowing it. You feel I me? Mean? Then eventually, the older you get, it starts to make more sense to you. You're like, oh, that's why I do, that's why this, that, 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 that's why we use that and all that stuff and the way we talk and everything else. It makes sense. It's sense behind it. It's just not cool to follow. There's always a sense behind it. There's a reason why people do the things that they do. They just don't do it because it's the new thing to do. Nah. Feel me? Anyway. I lost you. I was just talking, right? It wasn't really track, to, track of topic or anything else like that. Y'all was so late on that beatbox, too. <sighs> Nigga, dumb late. Usually I'm a whole year late, so. That's a good thing. This time I'm also, I was only uh, two months late. That beat is hard. Nigga got me even doing it this. <laughs> Hold on. I, I was like, go, what the fuck? Nigga, are you kidding me? That shit is hard. That shit is hard, hard. I can't even lie. I'm like, damn, how come I missed it? And that no sucker, uh, well, uh, what is that? No sucker is, uh, Little baby and money bag, yo, fire, fire, go baby, shit fire, fire. You feel me? Fire. It's a few songs out there that's fire. Shout out to oh, yeah, this is what I'm gonna talk about for like ten minutes. I'm about to voice my concern. This is a serious topic. Shout out to Bobby Schmurda. Bobby Schmurda just came home, feel me? I was kind of, you know, I always show love. I always show love to uh, those who just came home or something happened to them. Also, let me talk about this before I even get into that topic. Shout out to Tiger Woods, man. Y'all seen a tragic accident that happened. Shit crazy, man. Tiger himself? I'm like, damn. According to the report, he was not drunk. Just in case people, he was in a, car, a single car accident. That don't even happen. That, that's a freak accident. Like a single car? It's like, what? Aliens came. They saw a tiger in the woods. They tried to, they tried to, 
I'm not even trying to make fun of it, but thank God Tiger is like, when I read, when I seen a report, I'm watching CNN, I said CNN, no, hell no. I'm watching Fox News and I'm watching ESPN because I always think ESPN is CNN because they both got red. But I never get it mistaken. It's only because of the red. Because they both got the bold letters. But it's only three letters for CNN and this ESPN is four letters. But it's still bold red letters. Anyways, I was watching this ESPN and I was watching on Fox News. Back and forth, back and forth. And it said a single car accident. I'm like, that's bizarre. I mean, that shit do happen, but that's rare. You feel me? So I'm like, I hope everything is okay. You feel me? I hope that he was signed, my, he, his mind was sound. Like, you feel me? That shit don't happen. It could be a car mechanic, but we're not going to blame it on the car. You feel me? A lot of things could have happened. It could be something slippery on the road. Tiger ran into the Roland Estate, Roland State. No, it's a Roland Estate. It's a sign. It's a sign that he ran over where the cops was just, you know, figuring out all the things that they needed to figure out. I'm like, that's fucked up, man. It's fun like a tiger. You know how many barriers he break? Truthfully speaking, Stephen A said it best. I can't even say better than that. I want y'all to go watch him speak on the you feel me but thank god he didn't pass away because we, we're tired of losing great ones man we are tired of it we can't just have regular joes running around the earth feel me rush Limbaugh the last time nipsey hustle kobe too many greats is being lost we can't have regular niggas running around my nigga we need talent we need inspiration we need people to look up to. You feel me? And I've been waiting on Tiger for a long time to break that record. I swear it was. But it seems, I don't know, man. Then I was also waiting on Serena. It's all good, man. It's all good. I'm hurt by it. But I'm okay. Tiger, I'm okay. It's okay. Feel me? Tiger is okay. They said he's gonna do some lurk surgery and everything else like that. And we gotta wait more until uh, more report comes out and see what's going to happen. Cause it's cause it's not fair. You feel me? It's not fair for Tiger. It'd be fun. These niggas is wild funny. Everybody's so infatuated with cutting my hair, like, come oh, on. I ain't never seen a barber that keep cutting. Feel me? They just jealous of me, man. That's all, but shout out to Tiger Woods, man. Feel me? Shout out to Tiger. Nah, I mean, God, God just wasn't ready for that man. So whatever evil force, that people thought that the devil thought fuck people people don't even have that kind of strength that the devil thought he was going to use on tiger thank god tiger was strong enough to overcome that thank god his god the god that he was serving the god that loved us all saw his way through that you feel me and that's the first thing i thought i'm like thank god god like you your his faith must have been so strong and i was just thinking about his dad that his dad was probably there who saved him some shit like that Cause you could tell that car flipped a few times. Feel me? And shout out to Tiger for that. Not for that. Shout out to the spirit or the good faith that's following Tiger around to keep Tiger alive during that tragic accident. Look at this nigga, man. Driving mad close to the sidewalk. He's also a brother, by the way. What are you mad at, man? Got the do-rags in all, bro. What are you mad at? <laughs> Feel me? I'm not saying we're on the same team, but what are you mad at? You know what I mean? Niggas be thinking that just because they see it happen to me, it can't happen to them. Hey, I ain't gonna pay attention to you. Look at him, he want attention. He acting like a female. 
a nice car. That's my car. That's my car. That's my car. Anyway, man. Yeah, whatever that was guarding Tiger. Feel me? Thank God he had that protecting him. Feel me? It was very, very important that he had that protecting him. Oh, shit. These niggas. I hate when I see people from my work driving by me. <laughs> I be like, damn, bitch. He can't pick a nigga up. You just gonna keep driving? Now, every time somebody try to pick me up or try to give me a ride, that person get attacked. So that's why I always deny the ride because I be trying to save them. Because people be watching, man. Maybe they're so, they're so obsessed with me. Obsessed with me. There's one manager over there, he's like, he's obsessed with me. Like, I'm like, nigga, I don't want you. If I, like, fuck out of here, you bum ass nigga. And I don't even go like that. So it's like, yo, that nigga is just obsessed with me, yo. He's always on my dick. Always on my dick. Oh, he's he's gay already. He's already, he's gay. He always got a crew of trainees with him. I'm trying to reassign him here and right here. Yeah. Like, I'm like, damn, nigga, let it go. He's one of those people that love control. He just love Like, you're already in a controlling position. Man, people like that are scary, man. I see niggas like that. It's kind of sad, man. It's kind of sad, but it's true. Anyway, I had a lot. Oh, yeah, Bobby Schmurder. Bobby Schmurder came out of prison after serving five five years and I think um, four months. He was supposed to serve um, six years and he came out a little early. Feel me? Now, I'm happy for Bobby Schmurder coming out 10 months earlier than he was supposed to. Now, what I'm not happy with is the fact that after serving 90, I can't even say 95, I say 92% of his time served, if you're really gonna forgive the nigga, if you're gonna release the man on good behavior, then why would you put him on probation for five years? After his sentence, it was only six years. You putting that man on probation for five years? What the fuck is going on out here? Like, don't nobody see what's wrong with that? That is fucking cruel. Like, what the fuck, my nigga? The nigga served. If I was him, I'd just stay in there for the 10 extra months. Like, fuck out of here. You're not going to put me on probation for five years and you know my lifestyle is a little crazy. You know rap music comes with a little attention. You can't even defend yourself for five whole years. Like, you can't even get rowdy. Like, you feel me? Like, he's supposed to know better, but sometimes you niggas don't know better. You feel me? Like, fuck out of here. Like, niggas is crazy, B. Can you believe? Yeah. This store, every time I come in here, niggas got the extra cologne spray. But yeah, niggas be trying to hide stuff. You feel me? They crazy for that. Like, you don't do shit like that. I know the way a nigga was living was whack, but you don't get a nigga back like, all right. I don't like about him looking like that. Like, think about it, man. I just served six years in jail. You want me to serve five year probation? Yeah, when the Williams said it and I almost yelled out my seat. I'm like, thank God. Oh. <laughs>
Word, but that's about it for that. Well, shout out to Bobby Schmurda. The GS9 boys is home. Not all, but you know, making money. There's a lot of money to be made out there, so take full advantage. I just think it's whack that, you feel me? I think it's cruel, man. What kind of deal is that? I be like, yo, I serve, I serve 95, 98% of my shit, my nigga. I'd rather stay here for 10 more months. You the one who want to release me on good behavior. You feel me? Come on, man. Let's think about it. I'm kind of disappointed, man. I'm glad Bobby Schmurter is home, you know. You know, dark skinned niggas be looking out for each other on the low. We never jealous of each other, that's a fact. Only light skinned niggas do that shit. We might be intimidated by each other, but we definitely not scared of each other because we know what we're capable of doing. But one thing is for sure and two things is for certain, man. I think it's whack that he has to serve that long in jail and come home and stay on probation for five years and let another fucking nigga tell him what to do and what not to do. Come on, man. Shit trash, man. You gotta walk on eggshells after you've been in jail for that long? Man, I'm mad about that whole situation. I feel like that's slavery on the low type shit. I'm tired of niggas, man. For real, for real. I feel like I'm the only nigga mad. Everybody else is happy. I'm like, nigga, I'm happy for him too, but how's he supposed to enjoy himself? Like, can you imagine that for yourself? Then why would you be happy for that? Like, fuck out of here. And he's a stand-up guy. After the things that he did. You feel me? The way he just stood up for his mans and shit. You know what I mean? He didn't have to. He could have been so I would have been selfish in that moment. He would have been came home and he had to take that. I think that's one of the things that I think that's just, they sticking him to him like that too. Because he did that. But I holler at you. <laughs>